Hello! Welcome to the third video of the Sustainable Dutch. In this video we will show you how to poison your kids. How do we do that you ask? By putting no eggs, no butter and yes vegetable into their cake. We have two recipes in this video and a bonus recipe in the description box. Let's start off with the ingredients for the first recipe. Two teaspoons white or apple cider vinegar. One and a half cups or 360 milliliters of plant-based milk. A half a cup or 120 milliliters of extra milk. One and one fourth of a cup or 307 grams of unsweetened applesauce. You can use old apples to make that. Two third of a cup or 160 milliliters of canola oil, grapeseed oil or melted coconut oil. Two teaspoons pure vanilla extract. 2 cups plus 2 tablespoons or 320 grams whole wheat pastry flour or unbleached all-purpose flour. 1 and 1 third of a cup or 266 grams of sugar. 1 cup or 96 grams of unsweetened cacao powder. I used a little bit of cinnamon too. 2 teaspoons of baking soda. 1 teaspoon baking powder. 1 fourth of a teaspoon salt. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Mix the apple cider vinegar and the 360 milliliters of milk and whisk. Set aside for 10 minutes. Add the oil, applesauce, vanilla extract and 120 milliliters of milk into a bowl. If the apple cider vinegar and the milk have been set for 10 minutes, you can add that too, like this. Mix until foamy for about 3 minutes. Put the wet mixture in a big bowl if you haven't done that yet. Sift the baking powder, baking soda, sugar, salt, flour and cacao through a sifter into the bowl and stir the mixture. Don't forget the sugar, like me. It will taste gross without the sugar, believe me, I tried it. Taste the batter, if you find it not to be sweet enough, add more sugar. Look at this poison, even dogs can't eat this. Butter the cake pan to make sure the cake won't stick after it has been baked. You can also add cacao powder like this, so the cake will easily come off. Put your cake mixture into the pan like this. Look how it floats to the sides, have some fun with it. Bake the cake for 25 to 30 minutes. If the cake looks done after 25 to 30 minutes, you can check if it's done by using a toothpick or a knife. Shove it in the cake and it should come out clean like this. Put the cake on a rack and let it cool for approximately 2 hours. Mark a horizontal line around the cake by using a knife like this. Then use a string to cut it in half. Then you have two layers of cake. Now it's time to make the buttercream frosting. Here are the ingredients. 1 cup or 224 grams of softened vegan butter. 2 and a half cup or 280 grams of powdered sugar. 1 fourth of a cup or 30 grams of vegan white chocolate or cacao butter. 1 fourth of a cup of milk. 1 cup Oreo chunks. Mix it all together. Cover the cake in buttercream however you like. Be creative with this recipe. We kinda customized it and used fondant for the outer layer and for the Pokemon Trico on top. You can find the original recipe in the description box. Now we're gonna take a break, so let's test your vegetable knowledge. Who's that vegetable? It is zucchini! Zucchini! Now let's start with the zucchini cake. Here are the ingredients. One and a half cups of grated zucchini. One large banana, mashed. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. A half a cup of applesauce. One cup of flour. 
half a cup unsweetened cacao powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a cup of sugar, and one fourth of a cup of vegan chocolate chips. Mix the wet ingredients in a bowl. Add the sugar to the mixture. Sift the flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon and salt into the mixture. You don't have to clean your chocolate spoon. Because this is also a chocolate recipe. Mix well. When everything is nicely incorporated, sift the cacao powder into the mixture. Mix it good. Put the mixture in a pan of choice. Sprinkle chocolate chips on top of the batter. Try to find slavery free chocolate if you can. Bake the cake for 45 to 50 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. After the cake is done, you can serve it a few hours later or the day after. We made three cakes for my brother's birthday. A chocolate Oreo cake, a zucchini chocolate cake and a carrot cake. You can find the recipes in the description box below. Now you know how to poison your kids. Please feel free to like this video. Let us know what your favorite cake recipe is. Thanks for watching. Bye.